everyone, it's Crochet by Bab. Welcome to my channel. For this video, I'm going to show you how to make this gingham sweater in v-neck. This is a medium size. So I use an acrylic light worsted yarn. You can use any yarn you want to use. And this gingham sweater, I use a, approximately two balls of white and two balls of this lighter yellow and one ball of uh, this darker yellow so i recommend that you must use colors that are similar shade like this yellow lighter and darker yellow and then white to make the gingham uh, sweater so this is 50 grams 133 meters and i use also my five millimeter hoop tapestry needle scissors and my tape measure all right so this is a medium size i'll explain in the next uh, slide how to make your sizes and i include also the beginning chain so you can uh, start with your beginning chain or you can customize your own size also okay also uh, include the gauge of this uh, gingham sweater this is all half double crochet and if you want this more uh, crop style you just uh, decrease your rows here in the first 10 rows this is no decreasing or increasing this 10 rows part or in here in the five rows so i'll explain more in the video so you can uh, adjust your uh, size you want for this uh, gingham sweater okay so if you want a crop you can uh, leave this five rows this is no decreasing or increasing so it's nicer to make your adjustment in this part so this is five rows if you want to skip that it's going to be more a crop style of this v-neck gingham sweater okay or you can adjust also here and if you want also to make it longer than this you can just uh, add more rows here this is only 10 rows just add more before uh creating the decrease for the armhole in this part then just continue following the tutorial and it, this is very easy uh, we just only have a uh, one decrease here for 10 rows and then this the v-neck one decrease in every other row so it's very easy and simple uh, sweater vest gingham and this is all half double crochet so i made it five stitches changing colors and then four rows to change the lighter colors the white and the lighter yellow so it's very nice if you use a uh, white color and similar shade of color like this lighter and darker yellow so you can use any color you decide to make this gingham sweater and if you have any questions uh, just comment down or just leave a message in my instagram all right so before we start please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button so you will be notified for more upcoming video tutorials and please don't forget to tag or credit me when using my uh, video tutorial and i can share it also into my story in my instagram so let's start making this sweater enjoy all right i'm going to show you first the gates so please don't mind my burn in my hand so for four inches this is 11 rows and 15 stitches and this uh, size is for medium size and i chain 71 chains for my beginning chain and a total of 70 stitches okay so for uh, extra small you can either uh, begin 55 chains or 61 chains for your beginning chains and that is uh, 15 to 16.5 inches okay extra small then small you can simply add five more chains for your beginning chains then adding one in the end so you can start by chaining 66 for a, for small size or you can also begin 61 okay 61 or 66 okay so the pattern of gingham sweater is a multiple of five so it's very easy you can just add 
simply five chains for your beginning chains then adding one for the turning chain here in the beginning row okay so this is medium size so this is a 19 so i begin here 71 chains and then for a large size you can simply adding five more chains or 10 more chains could be 76 or 81 chains for your beginning chains okay and then for uh, xl 2xl 3xl or till 5xl you can just simply add multiple of five chains okay so the pattern is a multiple of five so just simply adding more five chains for your beginning chains all right so let's begin in these uh, two colors the miller colors for a uh, tip you can better start pulling inside so that the ball of your yarn it's not rolling when you're doing the changing of colors and that could be easier for you to work so for the swatching i'm just going to a chain 21 okay so this is 71 so i'm just going to show you in 21 stitches so just begin into your uh, right beginning chain so, so to start we're going to make a slip knot so i'm going to chain only 21 for the swatching just to show you how to make the uh, changing of the colors and the half double crochet all right so when you have completed your beginning chains into your second chain from the hook let's put the half double crochet so the pattern is all half double crochet okay and then chain one in every end of the row to begin your next row so chain one doesn't count as a stitch so begin into your second chain from the hook half double crochet then we're going to make five half double crochet in this color so one two three four five okay so before you finish your last stitch your five stitch five half double crochet we're going to insert now the yellow the ye more yellow just insert like this okay then you can carry this uh, tail so you don't need to uh, weave in later so now when you are done with your five half double crochet of this color so we're going to make five half double crochet also in this color okay so and this uh, other color we're going to carry Okay, so now we have four and then for our last stitch, our fifth stitch, so don't finish, we're going to change into the first color, this yellow, lighter yellow. So before you finish your fifth stitch, we're going to change into the first color, so we're going to put our yarn, working yarn in front like that hold like this and then take your uh, next color and pull 
okay so now our five stitches completed there and then we're going to continue again by doing five half double crochet using this color all right so we're going to change again in this part just simply put this in front and then take that other color and finish then continue again just uh, carry the other yarn okay Then to your last row, just finish it with the same color, okay? So now you have this. And then to go into your next row, we're going to chain one, okay? So we're going to turn first. And this uh, carry the yarn, we're going to put up like that, hold take your working yarn chain one because we're going to carry that i didn't drop this here since i don't need this here but i don't i didn't drop because i just want to have the same thickness of the yarn here in this part okay so it's up to you you can add drop also the this color in this part so because we don't need any more in this part okay so now we're going to continue five half double crochet so yarn over we're going to carry this yard into your first stitch half double crochet then continue into the rest of the stitches five half double crochet okay so here as you can see there is a popping of the carried yarn into your uh, back or into your front to avoid that you can uh, pull that a bit you can hold here so that uh, it will not very tight your stitches and pull a bit this okay but not very tight so that there is still a stretch of your stitches then again to chains just uh, put this in front hold take your next yarn and complete then continue five half double crochet again and always carry your and work yarn okay so just complete this five half double crochet chains again put it in front take your next yarn and pull then continue Two chains pull this in front take the next yarn and complete again okay so just every now and then you can uh, check the back and in the front to make sure the carried yarn are not uh, popping out okay
then finish your last stitch so now we have two rows these two rows so you need uh, four rows to make the first uh, colors this yellow and the lighter yellow four rows and then change into lighter yellow and white okay to continue just a uh, turn then this you can put up and then chain one so it doesn't count as your stitch always okay so continue your half double crochet okay i will show you once more how to change your yarn here when you have your uh, half double crochet before you finish we're going to finish it with this next color so just put this in front and then take your next color and finish it and continue again and then carry your yarn and every now and then check your carried yarn if they're popping out and then just stretch a bit like that Okay, so when you are done your four rows of this color, this, the lighter yellow and the darker yellow, so we're going to start now the white and the lighter yellow. White on top of the lighter yellow and the lighter yellow on top of the darker yellow. Okay, so to start, we're going to insert our white here. Okay, so your darker yellow you can uh, cut. Continue, we're going to insert the white. Let's do like this. Then chain one, turn. Going to carry now the tail of the white and your lighter yellow. And you can also uh, carry the cut yarn tail, the tail of your darker yellow, okay? For me, I don't uh, carry because I didn't cut. So you carry your tail, the white tail, and then your yellow. So start half double crochet into your first stitch using your white. Then continue... Half double crochet for five uh, stitches. Then here, when you reach your fifth stitch, you're going to chain. So put in front and take your next color and finish. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, on top of the darker yellow, this lighter yellow, and then we're now carry the white yarn. So you start half double crochet. Okay, so I told you every now and then you're going to check here. As you can see, there is a popping out of the carry the yarn here so whether you're going to you must uh, stretch a bit your yarn before completing your fifth stitch okay one two three four then next pull this a bit and then put in front take your white and complete it and continue again with your white
put in brand and chains okay so it's very easy to change the color in every five stitches and before you finish your fifth stitch your fifth half double crochet you're going to finish it with your next color and your underwear color just uh, carry it and just check it every now and then if there is popping out of the stitches and then uh, if this is your right side of your uh, panel so make sure it's uh, not popping out of the carried yarn okay so here it's okay you can uh, cut that later so this is the wrong side so here when you finish your last stitch just finish it with the same color and then turn then put this up the white one you are going to carry that and then we're going to chain one again and then continue your half double crochet using the same color this light yellow okay so you're going to do this for four rows the light yellow and the white so these four rows and then chains again later when you completed your four rows of this color these two light and white you're going to chains again it's the same uh, method you're going if you're finished with white you're going to continue with your lighter yellow but if you finish it with the, the lighter yellow you're going to insert your darker yellow so just like this okay so do this until 10 rows and then i'm going to show you here this part for the decreasing this part okay so 10 rows to make this just change uh, the color every five stitches then every four rows to make to change the color into darker into light and white and into light okay okay so here for example you already done your 10 rows so eight four and four then two more in this color so 10 rows and then we're going now to make the decrease for the side for this part okay so we're going to decrease one stitch one stitch here then one stitch in this side okay so when you are done your chain one there are two ways to make your decrease you can uh, simply put these two stitches in one half double crochet so that is half double crochet two together so just do like this and finish your half double crochet then yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch now you have five loops on the hook and finish that and that is two half double crochet together to make it one stitch in these uh, two stitches okay to decrease or simply just skip this first stitch and continue into your next stitch the second stitch half double crochet and then continue half double crochet change again then into your uh, last stitch we're going to leave this last stitch and just uh, do until here into the second uh, last stitch okay so don't do your last stitch to make the decrease just do like that okay so i'm going to finish this and show you more how to decrease so we're going to do this for 10 rows the decreasing
Okay, so I didn't uh, make the last stitch to decrease. Okay, to, to go for your next row, it's the same. This, you're going to put it up and then chain one, doesn't count as a stitch. And then into your first uh, stitch, we're going to skip that. And into this next stitch, half double crochet for the decrease. Okay, so leave that first stitch into your second stitch, half double crochet. So continue half double crochet. Like this. And chains. Okay, so you're going to do this until uh, 10 more rows. So until your 20, uh, 20 rows. Okay, so 10 rows with this part and then 10 rows until here for the decrease. Okay, just decrease one stitch here then one stitch in this side okay so one here then one until they are 20 rows your 20 rows here okay so just do like that just uh, simply skipping one or make that two half double crochet in these two first stitches okay so i'm coming back later to show you here when you are done okay so here this is now 21 so i already did my one more rows so this is uh, no more decreasing for your 21th row okay so i'm going to show you how to do that so no more decreasing just simply uh, chain one and turn and continue your half double crochet into the first stitch again so just simply like that half double crochet okay so we're going to do this no decreasing five rows and then i'm going to show you again how to make the part of the neckline the v-neck five more rows without uh, increase or decrease I'm coming back when I'm in 26 row. And just a tip uh, before you continue your next row, uh, untangle your yard so that it will make it easier for you to do your changing colors into your next row. Okay, this uh, twisting yarn. Alright, so I'm done my row 25. So go on for our row 26, we're going to have a decrease in the middle, the V neck. So if you have an even uh, number of stitches, you must minus that into 4 and if you have an odd, minus that into 3. Okay, that uh, minus numbers you're going to put in here in the middle of your uh, stitches. So I have a 50 stitches, so that's an even number. So I minus 4 and then put this marker one two three four for this uh, four stitches i don't include them for our row 26 okay so now i have only 23 in this part and 23 on the other part okay so if you have an even four stitches minus and odd number three stitches minus for the middle all right so let's continue it's the same just turn put this a bit up and take the same yarn and chain one then continue in your first stitch half double crochet you know it decrease in this side only in the middle okay so now i have only 23 half double crochet to make in this part so only here okay all 
Alright, so I'm done my 23 stitches. So I don't uh, put already here. So I'm going to stop in that. So just to continue for row 27, I'm going to turn and no decreasing on this uh, row, in this next row. So the decrease is in every other row. Okay, so row 26 already decrease in this part. Row 27, no decrease. And then in the next row, row 28, you must decrease one stitch. I'm going to show you that later. So here, row 27, no decrease. So as usual, we're going to do the same. Let's chain one and continue in your first stitch. Half double crochet. So your row 27, the same count of your row 26. Okay, so I'm going to finish this and showing you for row 28 for the decrease. Okay, so as you can see, we're doing this uh, part first and then when we are done until the row 45, okay? Then when we are done here, we're going to start continue here. Okay, for row 28 in this side, no decrease in the arm hole so just uh, turn your work as usual we're going to do the chain one and continue half double crochet so row 28 we're going to decrease one stitch to decrease one stitch in the end of your stitches end of your row so we're just going to leave this one stitch, just uh, stop here into the second last stitch, okay? So we don't need to do the last stitch, to decrease one stitch. I'm going to show you later. Okay, here's so row 28. I didn't make the last stitch to decrease one stitch. Okay, I already cut my yellow. Then I'm going to make chain one for the light yellow. So I'm going to make the first two stitches here. So to decrease for row 29. So I'm going to carry this so I don't need to whip that later okay so here I'm going to insert my leaf white then continue so this is row 29 without decrease so we're going to decrease every other row so row 30 we're going to decrease one stitch row 31 no decrease till we reach row 45 and that is the end of the row of our front panel okay so i'm going to finish this then the next row no decrease okay so row 30 just continue all half double crochet so there is a decrease one stitch in the end so row 30 one decrease then row 31 no decrease then row 32 it decrease one stitch and then so on so every other row we're going to decrease one stitch okay until row 45 so we're going to finish this until row 45 doing decreasing one stitch in every other row and then we're going to continue with the other side i'm going to show you also on that part so first i'm going to finish this to show you once more here Okay, so here I have only now two stitches left, so I only do this one stitch, then leave that 
one stitch so undone you just turn then continue your stitches so every other row decrease until row 45 okay so i'm going to finish this uh, first side and then i'm going to show you in the other side so just decrease one stitch in every other row until row 45 okay, okay so i'm done until row 45 in this side so it's like this i end up 14 stitches left one until row 45 now to continue on this side we're going to insert our uh, yarn here into the after the stitch mark So it's the same, just decrease one stitch in every other row. So here, we're going to chain one, then half double crochet in the same stitch. Then continue. Okay, so I'm done row 27 also so no decrease so row 28 we're going to have a decrease so just turn and then to decrease we're going to skip one so we're going to chain one then we're going to skip the first stitch and then going to the next and make your half double crochet and continue okay so we're going to do the increase every other row the same just like the same with our first side so we're going to decrease in every other row so this is row 28 so decrease one just uh, skip one to your first stitch and then next row no decrease and then in your next row again just decrease one stitch until row 45 okay so i'm going to finish my other side and i'm going to show you the result all right so i'm going to finish this and then show you how it look like and then we are done our first panel our front panel and then we're going to continue for the back panel okay so just continue until row 45 just decrease one stitch in every other row so it's going to be like this so later we're going to make the back panel all right so i'm done the front panel so this is how it look like Okay, so let's proceed to make the back panel. To make the back panel, it's the same. To start the 10 rows. So you will begin with your beginning chain the same from your front panel. Okay, so I chain here 71 and I start here chaining 71. So I have uh, 70 stitches and make uh, 10 rows without increasing or decreasing. So 10 rows after you done your 10 rows. So we're going to make the decrease for the side. So 10 rows for the decrease. So I'm going to show you again. So when you are done your 10 rows for this, uh, for the back panel. So you're going to turn your work and continue. Chain one. We're going to skip the first stitch you're going to skip one stitch in this side and in the other side here okay to make the decrease you can uh, skip one or you can make the two stitches uh, half double crochet two together so just simply make a skip it's easier so you need to skip that and make half double crochet into the next is this then continue till your end of the stitch stitches just uh, skip 
the last stitch and just uh, stop here into the second last stitch and then chain one then turn then just skip again the first stitch then continue okay so we're going to do this until row 20 so a total of row 10 for the decrease it's the same way from our front panel i'm going to decrease 10 rows then i'm going to show you next here no decreasing all right so when you are done until 20 rows so we're going to stop uh, decreasing so now we're going to continue for row 21 until row 42 we don't need to decrease okay so just uh, continue without decreasing row 21 until row 42 so just uh, continue no decrease start your first half double crochet into your first stitch so just continue without uh, decreasing or increasing for row 21 until row 42 and then for row 43 we're going to have a decrease for the neckline for our back panel okay so just continue row 21 until row 42 and i'm coming back to show you for row 43 all right so i'm done my uh, 42 rows so this is now my back panel so for our row 43 we're going to have a decrease in the middle to make the neckline so we're going to put only in this part and in this part also so what we're going to do is we're going to count the stitches we have on our 43 row here in our front panel so take your front panels and then count how many stitches you have in your 42 43 rows so this is my 43 43 rows so i have 15 stitches then row 44 i have also 15 stitches then row 45 i have 14 stitches because we had a decrease in this uh part okay so i'm going to put only 15 stitches in this part then row 44 15 stitches row 45 14 stitches and then when i'm finished here to row 45 then i'm going to continue here so i'm going to start here so 5 10 15 so i'm going to start in this stitch to start my half double crochet 15 stitches then row 44 15 stitches also and then row 45 decrease one so we're going to have only 14 stitches okay so it depends how many stitches you have on your 43 rows from your front panels okay so i'm going to finish my back panel then we're going to attach the front and back panels okay all right so i'm done my front panels and back panels so this is how it looks like the last step for the back panel so what we're going to do is we're going now to sew them together so flip first your paddles into the wrong side so i have now in the wrong side so we're going to do this we're going to do like this so we're going to sew the shoulder seam first so i forgot to tell you to leave a long tail in your last row here so you can use that for sewing so we're going to flip this put into the wrong side wrong side out okay so first we're going to sew the shoulder seam first and then the sides so only here in the straight edge the 10 rows if you have only 10 rows here so we're going to attach only in this part using your uh, tapestry needle and a long tail of your yarn okay so i'm going to finish this and then i'm coming back to show you how to make the neckline the armhole ribbing and the hem ribbing 
okay so when you are done attaching the pieces together so now we're going to make the ribbing first i'm going to show you here into the hem part so what i'm going to do is uh, flip your uh, piece into the uh, right side so now i have here the right side of my sweater so what i'm going to do is to make uh, half double crochet into the back loop for my ribbing you can do also single crochet back loop only i have a video tutorial of a different uh, ribbing stitches you can check uh, in my other videos so first i'm going to insert my uh, yarn here into the edge side of my uh, sweater so i'm going to insert my uh, yarn is secure and then i'm going to chain seven one two three four five six seven i'm going to have a uh, six stitches or six half double crochet okay so if you want a longer hem you can add more chains to your beginning chains I'm going to have only six half double crochet for my ribbings, 1.5 uh, inches. So you can add uh, more into your beginning chains to make it longer your hem. Okay, so I'm going to make a half double crochet, second chain from the hook, then continue half double crochet into the chains. now i have uh, six a total of uh, half double crochet okay so it's up to you how many uh, half double crochet you want or how long you want to be your uh, ribbing and then i'm going to slip stitch here into the next stitch or you can do also into the uh, next uh, second uh, next uh, stitch it depends uh, how near or far you want it to be your uh, ribbing okay and then i'm going to skip this and into the next stitch i'm going to slip stitch and then just turn then half double crochet into your first stitch again then continue half double crochet into the back loop okay to make the ribbing should do into the back loop So always uh, count if you have a total of uh, six half double crochet then chain one then turn then going back half double crochet into the back loop it's the same also with a single crochet back loop then when you completed your uh, six half double crochet you can uh, slip stitch into the next uh, stitch then what i'm going to do is i'm going to skip one uh, stitch then i'm going to skip stitch into the next to make my next um uh, half double crochet next row so you can uh, see if it's too far or too near your slip stitch to make your next row you can just notice it if it's too far or near okay so just continue like this until uh, here to the front my plan is to have a split ribbing so i'm going to show you later how it look like so i'm going to finish my ribbing just continue like this half double crochet into the back loop only just slip stitch into the nearest uh, stitch to continue your half double crochet okay you can uh, check my other ribbing video tutorial so you can uh, decide what kind of ribbing you want 
to make your sweater and here you can decide uh, whatever color you want for your ribbon okay either uh, the one of the same uh, colors from your uh, sweater so i'm using here a white yarn all right so i'm done uh, the ribbing for the hem so this is how it looks like this is what i mean that i put a slit so i didn't uh, go in one round you just uh, skip this and then go into the next uh, side and continue and then like this so i have a split uh, ribbing so now to continue is we're going to make the neckline so this is what we're going to do so just insert your yarn here and for me I'm, i want to make it only three half double crochet so I'm going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and then second chain from the hook, half double crochet. We don't have a clear stitches, just a slip stitch into the nearest uh, possible. You can up insert your hook, just like that. So this is how wide I want to be my neckline. So it's up to you if you want a four half double crochet, you can do that also. And then just a slip stitch also into the nearest, just to be sure it's not too far or it's not uh, too near when you do the slip stitching. Then just continue like this half double crochet to the back loop chain one and turn then half double crochet then just maintain how many stitches you have just go around like this then just slip stitch again into the nearest possible uh, hole that you can slip stitch and then slip stitch like that just go like this going around here till the top so here into the side just go around and then continue on the other side and then you must gonna end here okay so i'm just going to explain it to you how to do the armhole also ribbing armhole so it's very the same you just uh, insert your yarn here then just uh, do your half double crochet into the back loop continue just slip stitching it's the same way that you can just uh, slip stitch into the nearest uh, little hole in your uh, side of the armhole okay so we're going to finish the neckline and the armhole so it's the same you can decide how many half double crochet you want to put into your uh, armhole so probably i'm going to put four half double crochets i'm going to chain five so it would be four half double crochet in total just continue like that so i'm going to put four half double crochets into my armhole so you can decide how many you want also okay so here only three half double crochet back loop only just go around into the neckline then later i'm going to sew this or just go slip stitch later and then continue here for half double crochet going around and in here then just uh, sew it them together okay so i'm going to finish mine then i'm going to show you the result now i'm done the ribbing for the neckline so this is how it look likes now i'm going to use my tapestry needle and i'm going to sew them at here at the back so into the reverse side to attach both the beginning and my end row and then after that i'm going to start my uh, armhole ribbing all right so i'm done the last part the armhole ribbing so this is how it look like so when you are done just weave all your ends and you are finished so this is now our gingham sweater all right so thank you so much for joining me making this gingham uh, sweater hope you like it 
and uh, please uh, support my channel subscribe like and share this video and if you are making this tutorial this gingham sweater please don't forget to tag or credit me on my social media in my instagram and i will share it into my story if you are making this gingham sweater thank you so much again and please follow me on my socials happy crochet everyone bye Thank you.